Hello and welcome to Oz Toy Reviews. Now, hello, parents and Discovery Garden Gardeners, Gar Discovery Gardeners. Uh, it's your pal Oz here, and hopefully, we're going to be doing a quick video today where we're going to open up the I think it's about 23 new Discovery Garden um, packets with the uh, herbs, flowers, seeds, and vegetables. I think was the one I haven't said. Um, we're going to open up those, and then we'll do a quick progress check to see how my garden is growing. Um, and, and also, I don't know, then hopefully you can compare that to your own. Um, and that's about it, that's all we have to do. So, uh, let's get started quickly. We'll just pow power through these, see what we got. Now, I'm missing a tomato, dill. Okay, that one's kale, so I'm not missing kale, but cool. Actually, yeah, I'm just gonna quickly pow go through these, power through them. So we got kale, we got cabbage. Okay, I'm missing, I'll try to quickly tell you now. We've got tomato, dill, coriander, beetroot, oregano, thyme, and chamomile, and two more, viola and carrots that I need. So how much is that? That's like eight, nine. We've got nine more we need. Parsley, nope, I got that. Put that over here. And uh, let me know in the comments, if I still have comments, to let me know how you're going with your um, growing your garden collection. Uh, what's this one? Pansies, do I have pansies? Yeah, I do have pansies. Um, yeah, let me know how you're going with your collection. And then, um, or, or, or add me on Instagram and you can see my garden and kind of compare yours to mine because it is good to know. I thought I was, like in my last video, if you saw chamomile, no, yes, I needed that one. Okay, so hold on, we're gonna put the little tag in there and I'll put it in the chamomile spot. There we go, okay, we're not gonna forget that one. Now, keep going. Um, I keep getting distracted trying to explain things while opening these. Um, but yeah, add me on Instagram and you'll be able to compare your garden to mine as I do progress. Also, you'll be able to keep in touch with me, see whatever toys I'm about to review. Sometimes you can steer the channel a little bit because I'll put up a photo of like all the toys I have ready to review. Um, and then you guys can just vote on which one you want me to review next. Like I did it recently for, and people wanted um, the giant Ushis, so I'm going to review those soon, and then I've got Roblox after that. Um, so yeah, so you guys get to kind of control things a little bit. Now bok choy, we don't have bok choy. Oh no, we do have bok choy, sorry, so I'll put that over there. Um, and yeah, I'll put like the, the name down below just so you can add me on Instagram. Now next up we have... What is this? Dill? Dill? Oh, no, we didn't have dill before, so let's add dill to our collection. I think we got, okay, that's tomato, so this must be dill back here. And uh, yeah, like I was kind of saying before, as I was very quickly trying to explain Instagram stuff, um, I thought I was run, falling way behind. I thought my garden wasn't doing so well, but after checking uh, out Instagram, these are big seeds. Check out the coriander seeds. Um, <laughs> I'm getting so distracted. As checking out the Instagram, um, I saw everyone else's gardens, and I'm probably on par with everyone else. So probably about the same as everyone else, which is reassuring, which is good. Because I was, I was worried that I was leaving them out in the sun too much, and I also had a few mishaps where um, the wind blew out my my tray full of stuff onto the ground. Uh, the cat dug some up. <laughs> it's, it's not been a happy, easy life for these plants. But either way, they, they kind of had stuck through it and were still kind of keeping up with everyone else. Uh, oregano. I also needed oregano. Okay, we're doing well. Um, here we go. Yeah, and it's interesting that, uh, to know how yours is going. Like, if you have had similar things, like I have heard some people say possums have gotten to their plants and eaten all their plants. So yeah, I love hearing from you guys and kind of hearing your stories about it. Uh, basil, I think we got basil. Now I'm down to only needing tomato, beetroot, thyme, viola, and carrots. So only six, no, five left. Okay, this one is Chris. We got Chris. Chris is doing all right. I think Chris was one of my first things to sprout, but then it died in one of those uh, incidents I mentioned already. Um, I think it was the first one to die. I just hadn't watered it in a few days. Uh, chives, I got chives. Chives are doing pretty good. I'll show you in a second. And uh, let me know if any of you have actually started transplanting too. Transplanting these into bigger pots or into bigger gardens. Because I'm kind of, some of these are on the cusp of that, like being at that point. Uh, I want to see how it goes with the transfer. Now, Dianthus, nope. It's uh, Viola I'm looking for, so not Dianthus. 
And next up we got Rocket with its little dot seeds. Now I don't need Rocket, so that's cool. All of these are gonna get planted by the way, it's just uh, not in the little display case. So we'll end up like these guys on the side here where they're still planted, they're just not in the box, but in the tray. And uh, next up we got carrots. Now I think I needed carrots, yes. Okay, we'll add a little tab. We'll put the carrots in the carrot spot. Where is the carrot spot? I think this is it. There we go. Okay, now I've only got four left. Tomato, beetroot, thyme, and viola. Snapdragon, nope. Snapdragons are cool. I'm looking forward to those growing big. Uh, and sunflowers. I heard you can, um, I don't know if you can still do it now, but I know there was a day or two where you could go into a Woolworth store. I think you donate $2 and then you get um, sunflower seeds. Uh, now tomatoes, I need the tomatoes. And sunflowers are cool. Once I get my um, veggie patch properly growing, I'm gonna put a big sunflower or, or a few sunflower plants right in the middle to attract all the bees and then they will help pollinate everything else. Um, I don't know if that's what normal gardeners do, but that's, that's my theory. Uh, I think that would work. Or be, they'll look cool at least, anyway. That's, that's half the battle. Now cabbage is over there. And uh, three left to go. And I need three more. Beetroot, thyme, and viola are what we're looking for. Okay, Chris, we don't need Chris. And two more. Uh, Snapdragon, I love Snapdragons, but I'm not looking for them today. And last one is Kale. Now, uh, kale apparently just be only became popular only a few years ago. It was a bit crazy. Everyone was into it. And then I, I've kind of noticed it's kind of died down a bit. I don't know why. It was one of those things everyone was going on about being a big superfood for a few years. And then, I don't know, it's kind of... I think someone worked out that it wasn't as healthy as they thought. Maybe, don't quote me on that. Um, and then all the kind of the rave and all everyone going on about it, like there's someone special, <laughs> they kind of disappeared. Now, I'm just going to move that, just so it gives us a bit more moving powers. Now, here we go. So, you can see my spinach up the front there. Bok choy, pansies looking all right. Uh, the dianthus, not so good. I think they were growing and then they kind of died off a little bit <laughs> into dust. Uh, Snapdragon, the cabbage is looking cool. There's a cabbage there. Here we go, get in focus. Tomato hasn't been planted yet. We've got radish sprouts coming up. The lettuce, where's the lettuce? There it is. The lettuce, you can see just a little bit poking its head out there. Uh, rocket, no sign of anything. Parsley looking all right. Kale looking okay. Chris, Chris had grown but then died because I hadn't watered it. Uh, onions are looking cool. They're probably like my biggest kind of volume wise plant we got so far. All the magic happens underground with the, the onions, so I'm gonna have to transplant those soon. Uh, we got chives there at the back, uh, and basil, basil's looking okay. Oh, you can see its first little basil leaves growing in there. Like those first leaves, there you go there, those first leaves are usually used to kind of break open the seed pod and to let some the initial sun reach them to give it energy and then afterwards the proper leaves start coming through and you can see that's what's happening there with the basil. So that is very cool, that is my collection. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing yours if you add them on Instagram or just tell me about them in the comments, whatever's easier. Um, but that's it guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, let me know by clicking the thumbs up like button, subscribe if you have not yet subscribed uh, and until next time guys, have a great week. Take care of yourself and I will catch you next time.